Welcome in to another edition of the Leadership Library, hosted by CEO and author Rocky Romanella. Rocky is the author of the book, Tighten the Lug Nuts, The Principles of Balanced Leadership, and has over 40 years of business experience as a prominent member of the UPS Supply Chain Solutions team, as well as the CEO of Unitech Global Services. So sit back, grab your notebook, and take a seat and get ready for this edition of the Leadership Library. Welcome to the Leadership Library. I'm your host, Rocky Romanella. Hey, today we're going to have one of my favorite stories I want to talk to you about. So, uh, you know, some of the lessons that we learn in, in life and in business are lessons or things that we learned either in different, you know, books, different stories. But I'm going to give you one that I, that I learned from reading uh, the book, Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus to My Girls When They Were Young. Uh Mo Williams is is the is the uh, author, and uh, it's you'll love the book. It's called "Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus." If you get a chance, YouTube it. It's great, and it's about three individuals on the bus. One's the bus driver, one is all of us on the bus that are traveling, and of course, one is the pigeon who wants to drive the bus, who comes on the bus and says, "I want to drive the bus," and so the bus driver pulls over and now has to get off the bus and basically says to the people on the bus, hey, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. And of course, the pigeon, once the bus driver gets off, he comes up with all the reasons why he should drive the bus. Hey, let me drive the bus. I know how to drive the bus. I've always wanted to drive the bus. My uncle, he told me how to drive a bus. I'm the best bus driver in the world. And our job is what? To not let the pigeon drive the bus. And so you go through that whole process of not letting the pigeon drive the bus. It's a great story. Uh, the YouTube video is, is, is awesome. But the reason why I love the story, A, because, you know, my daughters loved it, and, and now my grandson, Nico, loves it. But B, there's three people on the bus, and in one day, we could be all three of them. We sometimes feel to realize that. So let's think about that for a second. Uh, you know, during my time as CEO, people thought I was the bus driver, right? You must be the bus driver. You're the CEO, right? Well, I got to tell you, when I was talking to the board, I was the pigeon. When I was talking to the, on the investor calls, I was the pigeon. Hey, let me drive the bus. Let me do this. This is what we're doing. This is why we're doing it. And then there were times when... I was people on the bus, right? You know, we had a we had a board meeting, and this is what we're going to do moving forward. Or the we had a meeting with the cu a customer visit. Customer tells us we need to start doing these things. I'm I'm not driving the bus. I'm the on the bus. I'm discussing things with people, and then and then there are times we are the bus driver. You know, as CEO to the people inside my organization with many of the, of the programs and and, and new new processes we were putting in or maybe new strategic decisions we were making. Yeah, I was driving the bus. I think it's important to always remember that at any one given, we are, we're all three of those individuals. We are the bus driver sometimes. And even as a manager inside an organization, you, there are times you're the bus driver. Then there are times your division manager or your, your next level asks you to do these things. And now you're a member on the bus. You know, and then there's times when you are the pigeon. You're walking into your manager and you're asking them to do that, do this. You're asking them to be, you know, part of, you know, part of the organization. You, you want this to happen. You think this is a good thing for us to do as an organization. You're that pigeon trying to sell what you think is the right thing for us to do. So I think we're all three of those. So never lose sight of that because that grounds you then. That gets you, don't get too excited about you're driving the bus because tomorrow you could be the pigeon. <laughs> Don't get too excited about being on the bus, which is great to be on the bus, but you could be, you know, you could be the pigeon as well. And by the way, when you are the bus driver, don't ever lose sight of your responsibility of all the people on the bus and your responsibility to make sure when the pigeon does get a chance to drive the bus, you've done everything you, you could to help them be prepared to drive that bus and you're supporting them in driving that bus. So, Think about it from that perspective. So that's a great book that I think is, is a great lesson and it keeps you grounded and it, it always gives you the opportunity. And uh, believe me, there are times when I would be sitting in a meeting thinking, I'm definitely not driving this bus right now. 
And then there are times where like, damn, I'm the bus driver. I had to make sure I'm going in the right direction here. And then there are times I'm the pigeon. Like, come on, give me a shot here. Let, we, this is something I think is important for the organization. This is something I know that, that our people need and people want. It's something our customers are asking for. And so I think all of us are all three at one time or another. And in one day, we could be all three of, of those individuals, but never lose sight of that fact because that, that's a humbling experience and it grounds you to understand you know, that each of us at different times have different roles and responsibility, but all of them are equally important and not one of us at any one time is more important than the other. That's the ultimate in teamwork. Thanks, be safe, and remember, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. Be safe. Have a great day out there and thank you for being part of the Leadership Library. Hey, on our bus, we read some really good books. We have a great library on our book, on our bus. Talk to you soon.